Hey, what's going on, Rico Gang? So check this out. I've been seeing this trend, right? And I decided to hop on it. And today, I'm gonna be ranking the top retros one through 14. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, bro, we're on number 35. Why are you stopping at 14? But let's just keep it real. And this is gonna serve as sort of a beginner's guide for people who don't know Jordans, don't know the sneaker market. One through 14 and maybe 15 are the retros that matter. Those are the ones that are iconic. Those are the ones that Mike played in himself. So I'm gonna go ahead and rank these on a tier list based on my personal opinion. Now, if you want one based on overall popularity or even value, let me know in the comments and we can definitely knock that video out. So here's the way the graph is made. You have the F at the bottom, D, C, A, B, and then the S. Now, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I have no clue why the S is at the top. I just know based on the ones that I've watched, that means the very top cream of the crop tier. All right, so now we got the F tier, and the F tier is the very bottom, and honestly, there is only one shoe in the F tier for me, and that is the Jordan 2. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some dope colorways of the Jordan 2. Um, me personally, the black chrome colorway, I'm a fan of that colorway. This one right here, I'm a fan of, I'm a big fan of this colorway. I just honestly think after the success of the Jordan 1, I just feel like the designer sort of took it easy, just took a shoe off on this shoe. It's just honestly, to me, design-wise, not really a dope shoe. And for that reason, it's gonna go at the very bottom in the F category for me. However, that's it for the F tier. Now on to the D tier. And starting off the D tier, we actually have the Jordan 9s, all right? Now, here's the thing with the 9s. I actually like the 9s. They're a pretty dope shoe. However, and they actually do have a lot of colorways, as you can see here, that are pretty dope. Now, me personally, I've actually had 9s. I've had the Photo Blue 9s. I had the City of Flight LA 9s, and I like them. They fit comfortable, everything like that. It's just that, honestly, for me, it's not a very rockable shoe. Don't get me wrong. I'm a fan of some of the Jordan 9 colorways, like the Cool Grays, like the Olives and the University Blues. Those are all dope shoes. However, they're just not the most versatile rockers. And on top of that, they're just sort of weird to me because they're kind of synonymous to, they're kind of synonymous with when Jordan went to play baseball, which was kind of just a weird point in time. And so that's honestly, to me, the aura around the nines and why I rank them so low. Don't get it twisted. I would definitely rock a pair of nines and I actually do have some nines. I got to rank them on the D tier. Next on that same tier, we have the Jordan eights. All right. Now here's the thing with the eights. I rank them low because there's only two colorways of this shoe that I like. As you can see, it has a bunch of weird colorways. However, the colorways that I do like, like the Aqua 8s that you see here, I actually had these, the Playoff 8s, all right? These were pretty hard. This is probably the best number eight shoe. However, like I just said, there's not a lot of good colorways in this shoe, which is why I rank it so low. On top of that, I don't like how they fit on my feet. They're a little too bulky. And I honestly don't see how Mike played in these and dropped 40s and 50s like that because these are just really bulky, heavy shoes. And however, once again, if you can get me the playoff eights, then cool. Other than that, I'm pretty cool on the eights. That's actually it for level D. All right, so that's it for level D. Now it's time to move to level C. The first shoe that we have on level C is going to be the Jordan 11. Now, trust me, I know a lot of y'all are like, what? Bro, what are you doing? Are you okay? Are you feeling okay? Yes. Let me tell you, let me tell you why. See, one thing I'm proud of is the fact that I'm from an older generation of sneakerheads, all right? So there wasn't a standard list that we all agreed on of which Jordans were hype, which ones were not. We, it was all based on what you liked, all right? And honestly, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm 100% biased against the Jordan 11s, and that's because I've never been able to get my hands on any. Wait, I'm lying, I do have the referee 11s, but those don't count. But that's right, I'm hating hard because let's just keep it real, this is a dope shoe. However, let's keep it real, this is a dope shoe. There is a ton of dope colorways. My personal favorites is the Space Jam, which you see right here. This is actually on my grail list. I'm looking for these, however, in my size, they are worth more than what I'm willing to pay for them right now. So so definitely the, the 11s, I'm gonna rank them on my C tier. However, if I had been able to cop some over my lifetime, they would definitely be in the B or A tier. So, so all y'all out there, help plug your boy in with some space jams and then we'll revisit this and I will bump that up. Now, next on the C tier, I'm going with the Jordan 12s. Now, here's the deal. Jordan 12s are really hard. In fact, one of the very first posters that I ever had of Michael Jordan, he was wearing the cherry red 12s. 
and I definitely, definitely like the 12s. I personally have had 12s, so I've had the flu games. I've had the flu games in the past. I've also had the reverse taxi 12s. I haven't really had too much 12s, which once again is why this shoe is low. It is a dope shoe. I haven't had many of them. And honestly, I just personally think there are doper Jordans. So I think C is a good place for the 12s for me. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Next on the C tier, we're gonna go with the Jordan 1. Now I know what y'all thinking. I know all you new wave sneaker heads are just losing it. You probably threw your phone. You probably cracked it. You probably clicked off this video. You're probably gonna send me some hate mail on Instagram because for some reason, the new wave sneaker heads have crowned the Jordan 1 as just the king and it should be at the very top at the S level. Let me, let me give you all some breaking news. The Jordan 1 is not the best Jordan of all time. And please, all the OG sneaker heads, all the sneaker heads that are old enough to remember, please back me up in the comments if you remember it being like this. I'm not sure when it changed, but before whatever happened to make the Jordan 1 the top sneaker, Jordan 1s were not respected among all the other retros. Let me tell you why. They were the cheapest retail. They were the easiest to get. You were not making a statement if you had on the Jordan 1s. I mean, maybe if you had on the Chicago 1s or something like that, those have always been what they are, but just the just every single OG high colorway being just, just the top Jordans, no, that has not always been. And that's honestly how I can tell who's a new wave sneakerhead and who's an OG. That doesn't mean I'm knocking you if you're a new wave sneakerhead because we all a family, we all a community. With that being said, I've actually had several pairs of Jordan 1s over the years. Most notable, I've actually had, I have the metallic gold ones. I've had the pine green ones. One of my absolute grails is, one of my absolute grails is also the fearless the Fearless Ones, I love patent leather Jordan 1s. Don't get it twisted, I'm not hating on the Jordan 1s or the people who like Jordan 1s. They're a dope shoe. They're ranked sort of high in my C list because once again, they are a dope shoe. You can rock them with anything. They're, they're a dope shoe. They're just not the top of the top and I knew that would surprise a lot of the new sneaker heads. Now that actually does it for tier C. Now let's move on to tier B. All right, so now that we're into tier B, we're actually now inside my top 10. Now we're starting to get into some of my my favorite personal pairs all right so first on the tier b list we're gonna go with the jordan 14s all right now now i now i actually love the jordan 14s a lot now the jordan 14s i personally this is one of the best design jordan sneakers that they ever came out with and it also has several dope colorways as you can see here now i've had the black toe 14s which you see here i've also had the last shot 14s which you see here I even had the Challenge Red 14s for a little bit, but I sold them. I honestly didn't like how they looked. They just looked like they were missing the whole print, which they were. Now, one of the best colorways is the Candy Cane 14. This is one that I've always been, that I've always missed. But if it came out today, I would definitely camp out for. Also for me, the 14s, the allure of the 14s is just the, you know, these are the last shot 14s, which I did have a pair of these. This was the, from the game six when he took the last shot. We thought he was retiring for good at that point. And so, although he came back and played for the Wizards, which I don't count, I think that just adds to why I just hold this shoe up in so much regard and why I rank it so high in my B tier. All right, so next on the B tier, we actually have the Jordan 7s, all right? The Jordan 7 actually has a bunch of dope colorways. I've actually personally had the Cardinal 7s, I've had the Olympic 7s, and I've had the Retro Ugly Sweater 7s. Now, the 7s are up here for me because the pair that I've never been able to get, which is the Hair 7s, when I first got in the drawing when I was in elementary school, there was an image of Bugs Bunny wearing these shoes, and I remember trying and trying to get the details down on these shoes. For that reason, if I can land me a pair of Hair 7s, I will definitely cash out for them because once again, these are just one of the shoes that means something to me personally and my time growing up liking Jordans. All right, next on my B tier, we have the Jordan 10s. Now it actually pains me that I can't rank these higher, but I'm about to dive into why I can't. The Jordan 10 is actually low on a lot of people's list. And the reason why is because it doesn't have a lot of great colorways. I mean, a lot of these colorways are actually bad. Now they did come out with a city series, which from the city series, I've had the Chicago 10s. I've also had the Charlotte 10s, which I really regret selling today. But I know you're thinking, all right, if it doesn't have a lot of dope colorways and you've only really had two of these, why do you rank them so high? 
there's one shoe that I think is one of the best Jordans, no matter the retro or colorway, and that is the retro steel gray tins, all right? These are a really, really dope shoe. I've never been able to get my hands on them, but I just have always liked the silhouette. I like the design. I like the colorway. This is another one that I will camp out for if they ever came about. A lot of people will say that the Chicago 10 is the most famous colorway. I challenge them to say that the steel gray tins are definitely the, the poster boy of the tins. All right, so now we're up to tier A and we are in my top five. All these retro numbers right here are just the ones that I've either personally had the most of or I just think are the best are just the best Jordans out there, period. All right, so let's jump into tier A. The first shoe that I'm gonna put on tier A is gonna be the Jordan 13, all right? Now, with the Jordan now with the Jordan 13s, I've actually had several different colorways, and I've honestly had several different, several different instances of different colorways. So I've had two pairs of playoff 13s that I both that I turned both into beaters, which I don't know why I did that. I've only had one pair of Flint 13s, which I really want another pair. However, the 13s that I have not been able to get my hands on are the Carmelo Anthony class of 02 13s, the He Got Game 13s. I also forgot I had a pair of Bread 13s, and that reminds me of the whole reason I even like the 13s, which is this shoe right here. This reflective material on this part of the shoe right here made this whole shoe amazing. So, so honestly, when these re-retro, I definitely want these. The 13s, I hold those in a high regard. Those are some of the hardest Jordans to ever come out, and that's why I rank them so high. Next, on tier A, we have the Jordan 6. Now, the Jordan 6, now I think now I think the hands down consensus is that the infrared six is the six of all sixes and I actually do have a pair of those. However, some would say Carmine. However, to me, the most slept on six is the Olympic six and also the sport blue sixes do not get the credit they deserve. The most iconic colorway of the six is obviously going to be the Carmine. I think those I think Mike played in those the most. And another reason why I rank the six so high is because they actually have a couple Travis collabs that go crazy as well, including these olive ones. And then most recently, the sixes are definitely one of just the most well-crafted Jordans, one of the most iconic Jordans out there for me. Next on tier A, we're gonna go with the Jordan threes. Now, I've actually had several Jordan threes. They've got just a bunch of dope colorways, man. Like. This shoe is crazy. I've had the true blue threes, I've had fire red threes, and then I've had the white cement threes. The ones that I'm missing out on that I've never had that I wish I could get is the black cement threes. Like this is one of the hardest Jordans, and I know I've said this several times throughout this video, but I mean it more and more as we go on. So if I if I say it now at this timestamp, if I say it back at the two minute timestamp, it means more now. Here's something on the surface that most people don't pay attention to. Once again, if you're a beginner and you're trying to learn about Jordans, all right? So on the heel of this shoe, usually there's gonna be a jump man for the retro versions. I want this shoe with the Nike on the back. Back when the threes first released, Jordan, the Jordan brand and Nike, Nike was still the primary brand and then Jordan was sort of the subset. So a pair of these with the Nike on the back is the ones that I want, the OG ones. Next on tier A, next on tier A is gonna be the Jordan 5, all right? Now the Jordan 5s, probably as far as just the quality of colorways, there are so many dope five colorways. This could easily be on the, on the top with the fours to me. Oh my God, like, bro, the fives are so hard. I've had the white grape fives. I've had the, the fire red fives. But man, there's just so many great colorways, so many great collabs. You see a Supreme collab, you see a, they got a bunch of Travis collabs. I mean, honestly, when you think of Travis collabs, you think of either these right here or you think of these right here. So the Jordan 5 is definitely, to me, the, the second best Jordan shoe ever. Like around the time when they were designing this, they was really in a bag. And that reflective tongue just really sets it off if you've ever seen fives in live person and you know what I'm talking about. And that takes us to the number one shoe on my list in the S tier, and that's the Jordan 4. Now, it's no secret if you know me that the Jordan 4 is the best sneaker of all time, with this sneaker being the reason that this is the best sneaker of all time. Time. The cement fours are just honestly my grails. I've had the fire red fours. I've had the metallic purple fours. I've had the I've had the Toro Bravo fours. I've had the bread fours. I've had a bunch of fours, and that is hands down my favorite sneaker. Y'all, let me know in the comments what your favorite sneaker is. 
a Ford that I've never been able to get that actually is a gen release. It's not even just hype or limited. The Cavs 4s. For some reason, I love the Cavs 4s. Those are my grails. So if you know where they are, please put your boy in contact. Also, let me in the comment. Let me know in the comments if y'all like these. If y'all like this type of tier list style. If so, then I'm gonna do another one, but not based on my personal opinion. It's gonna be based on just value and what the market says are the best Jordans. So thank y'all for tuning in. Love everybody out there. Let's get it.